Okay, we just got the buggy back from being serviced. It had some issues we got it fixed up. I was at the sports show and I was talking to a dealership that sells these and they said they had extra an extra of these flatbeds that they don't sell anymore for this model sitting around and I really wanted a flatbed so I could put bigger stuff on it besides this old bed here. This is the old bed they took off and put this flatbed on so I'm pretty happy about getting that. I gotta make some side rails for it. The old fenders don't work anymore once you put the flatbed on them. Just these little old dump beds. But this flatbed still dumps, but we had a bunch of stuff uh, done to it. This service stuff, oil change, um, fuel filters, air filters, everything. Got a new belt on it. This is the old belt. It was kind of stretched out. Um, I got new shifter cables, throttle cables, and a bunch of joints in the front too. This is one of the old ones, which they don't make anymore. But if you zoom up on this, you can see See all the play in that U-joint like that? So this is the old style. And then the new style is an enclosed joint that kind of looks like this. An enclosed ball joint. So both on the front were replaced. And a bunch of other little things. But we saw the prices for these new now. I paid, let's see, about five years ago, I paid $8,000 for this brand new. Now, they're $14,000 for these things. So I was like, I am not trading it in. I am not getting a new one. So we're gonna get this thing. New belt and the whole tune up and have it for another five years to play it in. So, oh, we got a new seat too. Here. So the, the old seat, which I have right here, if you look at it, it's basically a piece of plywood with foam stapled onto it. I have a piece of foam on here. And now this new molded seat is the newer ones and it just fits on here. So they gave me this. Let's see, I give I give 50 bucks for this seat. And for this bed here, this dump bed, which I think they sold at the time, it's like 900 and some dollars for this bed. I'll give them 150 for that bad boy. And it's on there. So I had to, had to do that. And it's got a little safety rack on it. So one of my projects today with my state pop my stake pockets here there's two four six state pockets I'm gonna have to uh, make some wooden side rails that you can you can take off and on so which is kind of good for me because if we ever wanted to put bales on here um, having these little square beds like this was kind of a pain in the butt so now with the big flat bed you could put a round bale on here and strap a round bale or you could stack uh, the bigger long squares on here if we need to and let them hang over so you, I can fit a lot more on here. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to get the buggy back and it's shifting nice, it's starting up nice and it, it feels it feels tight again. It had a lot of play in it. When I put it in gear, it would clunk before it would catch in and then trying to find that, with that stretched out cable, trying to find the forward and reverse was becoming a pain. The, uh, the shifter cable and the throttle cable, the last time we were here, were frozen. So it kind of frays inside the plastic sheath of the cable, like a bike, like on a normal bicycle. And water gets in there and it froze. And I couldn't, I had to go down there and push the um, the, the throttle on the actual carburetor myself to, to give it gas. So all that's replaced. So we are ready to rock and roll now, baby. All right, so here it is. I'm just using scrap wood that I have. Some of it's pressure treated, some of it's not. It's just what I had laying around. So um, right here is 12 inches high, so I just went 12 inches up, four inches down, two cross pieces on it. And yeah, I mean, I already did all the cuts already. So here's my two pieces. I made my marks, and I just used my little hand battery saws and just put them in like this. This is how I'm doing it. Dropping it in here like this when my down to my mark. And it, it's kind of nice because it, there's already a hole here. So I can put this screw in here to hold it there. And some of this, some of this wood is, I don't know if it's swelled up or what, but I'm going to have to. Either it's going to have to dry out, or I'll have to sand it down so that these can slide in and out, in and out easier. But uh, I guess some of the pieces are 
dried out already. And these these pieces aren't even the same size. I just because they were too short, so. Zip two screws in there. Make sure I'm not touching. Dougie wants to go for a ride. Yeah, he's ready to go. He sees that buggy, he's like, yes! Yeah, see this piece is a little bit longer than the other one, but that's all right. That's all right. We're just gonna keep it close. Horseshoes and hand grenades. Get a point. Done this in no time. I think doing this whole thing only took like a half hour. So that's that. Tight. Tight. Kind of tight, but that's how we like it. We like it tight. So you just take off one side. Take off the back, the sides, and have a nice big flat bed. Or if I wanted more room, instead of putting it this way, I could turn these around this way. And put it on, and that gives you another inch and a half on there. so that's it so yeah I'm really liking this uh, this flatbed here so one of the things I really like about this is this right here having this to be able to strap things on all the way around on all sides I mean this is this is nice and I could even drill these holes out or put a hole here Drill this one out and put another hole here, like a big half inch hole so that a, an actual um, bungee cord or ratchet strap can go in without sliding if I wanted to. Um, and here, onto here I could hook something, but the, the other bed before, I mean it was terrible. You had this, it's upside, the bed's upside down, but all you had was this thing on and the, your, your bungee cords or your ratchet straps just slid back and forth. And it was that it would actually bend when I tried to ratchet strap. So this is this should work out a lot better. And uh, Doug already broke in our new seat. Great. They like the mud. They love the mud. Right? Lab approved. Did we get the okay? All right.